Yeah, man, water is life, you know? Big man thing, yeah, water is life, yeah? Yo, Agwan, you don't know, it's your boy Motivated J, and today we're here for a little bit of a tour of the property. Yes, we're at Aqueduct, and we're gonna give you guys a. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. Yes, man, yeah. say. So work start already. You get it, man, say. So it's what three bedroom, three bathroom, um, three bedroom, three bathroom, living, kitchen, dining, washroom. And uh, what else? And veranda? Yeah. But uh, this is just the start. Is it? I do additionals as well. So I don't know what this is. I think this is maybe the veranda, if I'm not mistaken. This is the master bedroom. That's the bathroom and closet. Right? Another bedroom. Let me just walk around. So I don't know, man. With this property, I feel. I feel proud, right? This is like number that I have six properties, right? So when I made the first video, it was five. So now I have six because I purchased another one in Virginia. But this one, I feel so proud because my daddy when it, you know, from nothing, now it has become something. And that's why I'm grateful for, like, I'm really grateful for this. And I, I feel so proud, like, really and truly. Like, I swear, I don't know, I feel proud about this. You get me? That below pointing. So again, these are the, bar, the master bedroom, right? So, and this right here, uh, so gonna be the, the bathroom and closet. But I was told my contractor explained to me I cannot look at a, a, uh, at a house while it's building and judge the size after wait until after it's finished. This is another bedroom, and this is the bathroom right for this bedroom and this tree right here it still needs to be removed right i'm working with someone to get it removed but you know jamaica thing go i know i shouldn't be saying this but when in jamaica never you ever pay somebody until they finish the work don't even give them half of the money before them start just pay them when they finish the work because if you pay them before it will not get done <laughs> Cause that's what I'm to me. I'm supposed to remove it, but it's still there. So, anyways, keep it going. I believe this is the washroom. Or no, this is a kitchen. This is something I don't remember. And I guess like the living room. There's somewhere here, so I think. I'm not sure. Again, I need to look at the drawing. Yeah. This is the washroom, and this is the kitchen, and uh, this one right here, the kitchen and the living room in our one. Our dining room in our one, and then this is the living room right here. You get a man say? So we got a two bedroom already, right? So this is a third bedroom, right? This is a third bedroom right here. So, yeah, man, place I go on with that. Tea. Okay, by the way, no, so no, I have all that enough for myself, same way. So, I'm actually be this is like going to be like rental, right? This is like more of an investment, right? Here, so, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my house over that side here, I land. However, I can join on. I have to join on. I can't make two separate houses. So the way that Strider here is, right? Now, I'm not going to say Strider, but the way this community right here is, is set up is like you have to follow that, that certain plan. Everybody always have to look the same. However, you can make adjustment, but everything needs to be together. It cannot be two separate houses on the property. So, yeah, with all this land, I have like, so from here, so that again, this investment, so from pretty much right here, all the way over, I might want to do whatever more for me. So that's what I'm going to do. Make sure it's here, and join and together. Yes, I mean, I have a little pipe and thing. Let's test it, let's test it. So we get water from a well. Yeah man, water is life, you know? Big man thing, yeah, water is life, yeah? Storage room, whatever. So we have people who actually stay on property. Okay, so let's talk about this now. I learn a lot during this process, right? What I learn, you can't drop material on the land unless you have somebody that live on the land. 
Does that make sense? So if you have small, you have to live on the land, perfect. If you have to live on the land, don't draw the material on the land. Because guess what? You come back and you don't go see it. So, I have approximately about 150,000 of material missing. But guess what? I still have life. You get me? I said, I still have life, so I have to be careful. Now I'm going to get my camera. I just need to get like a few more cameras and stuff like that to secure the whole property. Um, but yeah, man. It's pretty much it, man. Everybody else has built up the most. You see me? Everybody else, they might build up the most. They might build up the community. They might go on with them thing. You see me? I try to do mine as well. So everybody I come together. So eventually the neighborhood. So my camera go off from watch. But anyways, the neighborhood I build up. Which is great, which I, you know, which is really nice, and you know, hopefully, when everything is finished, we can get everything proper and thing. You get a man say, but yeah, man, uh, again, we just really feel proud of the whole thing. You know, me start off from nothing, I know it. You see something, you see, man, it's not a matter of time, but yeah, man, so, anyways. Big up on yourself. Thank you very much for tuning in. You see me, I say. Thank you very much for watching the, you know, the progress and stuff like that. Um, touch on something with the KSAC, you know. So make sure that the lesson we learn, make sure that before they start anything at all, make sure they come inspect like the foundation and come inspect whatever they need to inspect. Because if you're not inspecting anything, you inspect, you're in breach, right? And it's going to cost you guys to fix that problem. So. And it's going to cost you not only finance, but it's also going to cost you like money as well. So it's very, very important uh, to make sure that like, you know, you have, you, know, you follow the instructions, you follow everything. And as like I said before, make sure you have workman with sleep on site. You're not a workman sleep on site, like you're in a, like, you know, you're, you're not going to do, do too so good. And make sure you at least know the workman them when I left on site as well, because you know, let's make sure you know the work man. So you have to know the work man number one. You have to know, you say, you follow the right thing, you follow all the procedures and stuff like that. Again, I learn a lot in the whole, this whole process. You yeah, understand what I have to say? And when you not buy material, make sure you buy material from places where they're close by. You see me? And Jamaica is hot as hell. Right? I'm really, really hot. Uh, make sure you don't have cameras for the facilities. Um, the camera, I mean, right, the camera is act as deterrent. I can pick up certain things from the camera, like the vehicle, stealing stuff, this, that, other. I can pick up people. So just make sure you say, we're trying our very best to do everything. Before we start the process, like sit down and look and say, what you really want, what you really need to do, right? Like me personally, I, I was more in a rush, to be honest. Uh, why I'm in a rush? Because like more of a move come back to Jamaica as soon as possible. So me being in a rush, me try to uh, rush everything, not understanding, say, yo, I not really so it work. Yeah, and that's like my child says, so you cannot do that. You have to be very patient and just do what you have to really for do. Like, you see me? Because this is a house. This is going to be like here for a while. I'm not going to say like permanent, but you know, it's there for a long time, right? But once we make this, I think we can live it out. But you see me? So that, that's what it is, man. Um, at the end of the day, you see me? Hard work. You know? You, you 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 have something. I don't know. I was trying to make a motivational speech, but I don't. <laughs> I never come across. But it did not come across well. But at the end of the day, with a little bit of hard work and determination, uh, you definitely accomplish a lot. You know, that's what I try to say. You no, know, just put your money towards something that that you know that is meaningful. You know, and that's how I wish most people like my age, because I'm pretty, I'm fairly young to be honest with you. I haven't even 30 years yet. I wish people with my mentality, you know, think this. Uh, my, in my age group brother will think the same and say yo you know let me try if we do x y and z instead of like graph and, and doing all this lavish stuff but they can't really afford to maintain yeah that's what i mean i said but hey everybody live choose to live them life in a different way everyone chooses to live their life the way how they wish to do it right i can't blame a man for, for do what he want to do if that make any sense um because me know i'm gonna live mine and that's how it matters at the end of the day my life no one else uh but anyways not take up any time big on themselves thanks for watching only one favor me gonna ask you see the sun hot right so because the sun hot i mean i sweat 
please look at it for me i just like share and subscribe that's how i mean ask like share and subscribe to the video uh, that you know that that's that will help me out so much big man thing yeah that will help me out a lot yeah if you like share and subscribe but anyways make up on yourself a wonderful day and take care